Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I archive my notes in OneNote. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, and if you're using a different version or device, your screen may look a little bit different than mine. So I wanted to make this video in response to a lot of questions I get on the general topic of organizing and archiving the material I put into OneNote. So these are just a few principles that I use. So um, first of all, OneNote's cloud storage, which is called OneDrive, can hold a lot. I personally keep everything in my OneNote account on OneDrive, although some previous versions of OneNote have offered you the option to keep notebooks on your computer. If you're curious about how much storage you get, I do have a video explaining um, just how, how much storage uh, you need for notebooks and things like that. With your free OneNote or OneDrive account, you get five gigabytes for free. And then I have the home subscription of Microsoft Office, so I get a full terabyte of their cloud storage. And even the five gigabytes is a lot. So um, I this brings me to point number two, which is that I have not deleted anything in OneNote. Um, in my real life, I like to get rid of things when I don't need them, but uh, since OneNote only uses virtual space, I feel more comfortable keeping my notes. My final point is that I like to keep my current view in OneNote um, just pertinent to things I'm using right now. So um, later on, I'm going to show you how to close notebooks without deleting them, which keeps that uh, the notebooks that you currently see um, just the ones you need to see right now. So um, I want to go over how OneNote is organized just to make sure everyone's on the same page. So at the very top, you have your OneNote account. And then within your account, you have notebooks and you can have many, many notebooks. I don't know if there's an upper limit or not, but I know that I personally have more than 30 right now. Within notebooks, you can have sections and then sections have pages. So this is kind of like the general organizational structure of OneNote. Just for completeness, I want to mention that you can also have section groups and you can also have sub pages. So there are a few more levels of organization, but I think this is the general gist of it for this purpose. Now, when I was preparing for this video, I was looking at my notebooks and how I archive them. And I found that my notebooks fall into three categories in terms of how I archive them. So the first one is my bullet journal. Then I have um, archive notebooks, which are notebooks that exist specifically for the purpose of holding archives. And then I have topic notebooks. That'd be a notebook I started for a specific short or long-term project. So each of these has a different but simple rule for archiving. So in my bullet journal, um, this is a very current working life management tool that's always changing. So in my bullet journal, I keep trackers for things like habits and cleaning. I have any current lists I need, so ideas for a home project or a checklist for something I'm working on. I have my current daily and monthly pages. I have reference pages for processes that I repeat a lot. I have reusable checklists, like what I pack in my gym bag, for example, and other things I need right now, like if I'm trying to figure out trip dates, I might have that in my current bullet journal. The point of this is, is that my bullet journal is always a current working life management tool. Um, once I'm done, once I'm done with something in my bullet journal, it gets put into a bullet journal archive notebook. I use one notebook per calendar year. And it's actually called 2019 Bullet Journal Archive or 2018 or whatever the year is. And then uh, one section per month. And then additional sections can be moved directly from my Bullet Journal Notebook into the Archive Notebook. The second type of notebook I have for archiving purposes is Archive Notebooks. And these will stay closed unless I need them for some reason. So I've already mentioned my Bullet Journal Archives. Um, for One Noteworthy Life, which is my uh, blog and YouTube channel, I keep one notebook per calendar year. Um, in my demo notebook, which is the notebook we're looking right at right now, it's where I film all my YouTube um, tutorials, I use one notebook per calendar year as well. And then another um, category I, would, I have in here is when I have topic notebooks that are no longer in use, they become an archive notebook. That actually brings me to the third type of notebook I have, which is topic notebooks. So these would be notebooks for a specific topic um, that I need at a time, but then I no longer need when it's done. 
So an example of this would be online classes that I've taken. Um, dogs, like each of the dogs we have, has their own notebook for significant dates, vet paperwork, that kind of thing. Um, for work, I have uh, a work notebook and a demo notebook, and then these get archived by calendar year. And then like certain big house projects would get a notebook of their own. Uh -huh. The point of these is that they're created for a specific purpose. I use them, and then when I'm done, I close them, and they effectively become an archive of that. Um, so that brings me back to, that's like the three types of notebooks I have for archiving purposes. I have my bullet journal where I move things in to it, use them, and then move it out. I have archive notebooks, which exist for the sole purpose of archiving, and then I have topic notebooks, which I create, use, and then I close so that they become an archive of that topic. But now I want to show you how I actually physically do the moving around to get things into archive notebooks. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to move pages. So you have two options on how to move a page. You can right click and select move or copy page, or you can drag the page to a new section if it's in the same notebook. So I'm going to show you the right click method first, and I am going to move this page that we're looking at into um, my 2018 demo notebook. And the reason I picked this particular one is it's a different notebook than we're in right now. Like if you look up here on the left, we're in my demo notebook. So I'm going to move it into a different notebook called 2018 demo notebook. And that is actually the archive for 2018 for my demos. So I'm going to right click and you see, I get this menu and I'm going to select this option here, which is the move or copy. And it looks like it's, you know, looking at a page here with an arrow. So I'm going to select move or copy, and now I'm going to pick the notebook I want to move it into. So this is my 2018 demo notebook, and I'm just going to move it into whatever this section is here. And you can see it's gone from the notebook we're in now. So the other option on how to move a page is to just drag it. And so since, so now, but you can only drag a page if you're moving it within the same notebook. So I'm actually going to drag this into this stickers section here. And when I go back to the archive um, section, the section we're filming in right now, it's gone. And then the other thing I wanna show is how to move an entire section. So this is handy when I create a section, like say it's for a trip, and I plan the trip, I take the trip, and then when I'm done, I move it into the archive for that calendar year. So I'm going to show you how to move a whole section. And for this, I'm going to um, move my July 2018 plan with me, which is still in my demo notebook, into my 2018 demo notebook archive. And the reason I picked this one is I just wanted to show you that you don't need to be super strict with this. I just kind of move um, sections out of this notebook as it seems to get too crowded. So I'm down here at the bottom of my screen on the left, and this is the July 2018 Plan With Me section. I'm going to right-click it, and it has, an, again, the, the same moving copy option, but it's looking at the whole section. So I'm going to move and copy. And let's see, I'm going to move it to, I have to find the 2018. There we go, there's my 2018 demo. So I'm gonna move it. And it's gone. You can see we're all the way down at the bottom of the again, again, and it's still not there. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the difference between closing a notebook and deleting a notebook. I've referenced this a few times, um, but I wanted to give you the kind of a more active uh, demonstration of this. So um, if you close a notebook, it doesn't show up in your list of notebooks. So it's kind of not currently in your view of OneNote. If you delete a notebook, it's just gone. So I prefer to close and not delete old notebooks. If I ever did run out of space, and I'm nowhere near that, but if I ever did, I would probably maybe make a, a copy of a notebook from OneDrive onto my hard drive, um, but I'm nowhere near that. 
So what I want to show you is that I have a notebook called Profiling, and that's from a class I took on profiling. Just uh, it's kind of an interest of mine. I'm a true crime uh, fan. And when I click the notebook list, you will see that profiling isn't there. So up here where it says Demo Notebook, that's the notebook we're in. And I'm going to click the drop-down menu. And this shows all of my open notebooks. And you see that there is no profiling notebook open. So I'm going to click on More Notebooks. Here's the profiling notebook. And I'm going to open it. These are all my notes from my profiling class. I'm going to go now I'm back in the demo notebook. And when I click this drop down, you will see that the profiling notebook is now open. So in that case, I showed you the list with the notebook closed. It doesn't show up. Now that I've opened the notebook, it shows up. Now I'm going to do the reverse. There is a notebook I have called um, 2017 Demo Notebook. And that notebook's open right now. So when I click this notebook list, you can see that the 2017 demo notebook shows up. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to close this notebook back to my demo notebook. And now I'm going to show you when I pull up that list of all of my notebooks, that 2017 notebook no longer shows up. So that's kind of both sides of the coin. That's um, closing and opening a notebook. And that's it. That is how I archive my notes in OneNote. If you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, please leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer you. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to talk to other OneNote users on Facebook, please join us in the OneNote Bullet Journal group or in the OneNote for iPad group. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.